Hello students, this is Mrs. Strait, and I'm going to show you how to solve 63 plus 44. So you can do this in your seesaw today. I created here on my whiteboard, um, I stacked my numbers up, so I made them vertically, so my ones are stacked above my ones and my tens above my tens. And the next thing to note is that I made myself a little place value chart, and I did include hundreds, and I'll show you why in a minute. So when we add, we always model both numbers. So I'm going to model 63 by doing six tens and three ones. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to move the other six one right there. Leave a little space, which lets me know I have five and one more makes six. Now I need the three ones. I'm going to go one, two, three. Now I'm going to model my 44. So I'm going to have four tens, one, two, three, four tens is 40. And I have my three one, or my four ones. So I have one, two, three, four. And I just created this line and I might wanna make it in a red color. Um, so I might just wanna make this dotted line. What I did here was make a dotted line, but I wanna make sure I can see my two different numbers. So I did that to separate to make sure I modeled both 63 and 44. <laughs> Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start in my ones place. And we always start in the ones place. Now, I can really do this without my model. I could go three plus four and I could add that in my head. So I could look at the ones here and three and four make seven. And I can do that with my hand. I can put four in my head because it's a bigger number and count on three more. So four, five, six, seven. And I have three fingers up. So I know I stop at seven because I have three fingers up. So three plus four is seven. And to check my work, I can go over here. I can go one, two, three. There's my three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I have seven. And I notice that I don't have enough to make a new 10. So I just need to write seven under here. And if I want, I can actually put a little X up here. And this just reminds me that I didn't have to put a one because I didn't circle 10 ones and make a new 10 because I don't have 10 ones. I only have seven ones. Well, now I'm gonna add my tens. So count with me while I do this. And we're gonna count by tens first. So here we go, ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Now I need to add these. So we're gonna go 70, 80, 90, 100. Well, I know hundreds don't belong in the tens place. I know they belong over here in the hundreds place. So I'm going to take this and I'm gonna put it in a box because I know when I do that, I can move it over here and it really doesn't matter if I'm on the top or the bottom. It doesn't matter if it goes up here or here. And when I model 100, it's just a little square. So, these now, these 10 tens that we counted, count them with me again. This time we're going to count one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, six plus four makes 10 tens. And we know 10 tens makes 100. So I just regrouped. What I did was I got rid of these and I can put a big fat X over the top because these went away and they went together to make this 10 flat. So now I have my seven ones, but I don't have any tens. And if I want, I can put them down here. I have seven ones, but I don't have any tens left over because all of them went together to make a new 100. So I have 100, so I have one 100 and I can see my answer. I don't have any tens here because they all went together. 10 tens became 100. So I have zero tens, and I guess I should do my pen in black now. So zero tens makes one, makes zero, but I did need to make a new 100 up here. I'm in the hundreds place, and I have 100 plus no hundreds on 63, plus no hundreds on 60, on 44. Oops. That makes, and I can even, if I want to, I can put a little zero in here because 63 doesn't have any hundreds and 44 doesn't have any hundreds. But my new 100 up here, one plus zero plus zero is just simply one. So what we saw 
is that we saw 107 just like we have here in our model. We added our ones. We didn't have to regroup because there wasn't 10 ones yet. It takes 10 ones to make a 10. So we just wrote our seven. Then we counted our tens and we had six tens and four tens. And I know six and four make 10. And I counted 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That was 100. And so hundreds don't belong here. They go over here. 10 tens went together to make 100. So we didn't have any tens left. Now, sometimes you will have tens left. And then you have to count how many there are. But here we didn't have any. We traded them all for a new 100. And that was right here. So my answer is 107. It's 107. Now, you can do this in your seesaw today.